Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. First of all, I would like to apologise for the delay in the uploads, but as you can see, <coughs> we are in the new recording area. So, it's not finished yet, still getting work done to it, but decided to get a review fire right. And Nico's been a bit of a pain jumping up and down. As always, if you're under the age of 18, or your state, countries, legal guardians, aunt, uncles, mum, dads, who the fuck ever's age of vaping, fuck off the now. If you're of legal age, and you're allowed to vape, welcome to the review. And what are we on tonight? Tonight we are on some 100 large banana haze. And stick a wee picture up there, of the top of the box. It is an overripe. Authentic and sweet banana combined with golden brown hazelnut and rounded with just a hint of pear, according to us. Now that can fuck off. As always, I'll show you a picture somewhere of what comes in the box, because that comes with the two neck shots, which is brilliant. And as always, we do have the Drag X at 70 watts with a fresh coil in it to this oil and a fresh battery. Can't remember what I've said, but we are at 70 watts. And we actually have a bit of a different one tonight. We have a blended naked grouse whiskey. Never had it before, so this is going to be fucking new to us all. Hopefully you can't hear the buzzer there, but if you can, I do apologise. If you can't, I should shut the fuck up. And we have some Hobgoblin Golden Beer, 4.2% volume. 2.1 units per can, and it's a 500 milliliter can. So let's get that fucking peer. Peered? Peered? Poured. And we are in the trooper glass as normal. Let's get that fucking poured out nicely. Nicely, nicely. Nice body on that. Nice colour. Very nice colour. Now if you're wondering why I've got Hobgoblin, it's because I've never had it out of tin before, basically. Sorry for the random jump cut, but put the tin in the bin and it probably didn't make it into the video. Or I've jump cut this bit out. Never mind. But anyway, let's go on with it. Now, where we'll start off with the banana haze. I do apologise, I don't have my table in front of me yet. That's still... It's a new table that's going in front of me that I normally use as a wee bit shorter, so... Yeah, <laughs> we'll deal with that as and when. This might be the new thing where it just lined up at the side of it. But let's get fired into it. Oh yeah, fucking beauty. That is actually really nice, I'm going to admit that right now. I've been vaping this for a few days and holy fuck. It is a really quite, quite nice one. It is really, you taste the banana, no problem at all. I would say the hazelnut is a bit more in the background than anything else. The pear, uh, maybe a touch of the sweetness like that, but it's not overly. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, it's not over overly predominant. Maybe the sweetness with the bananas there, fuck knows. But that has become a daily vape for me because I do like banana type things. It's like a proper banana taste, like the real fruit, not just the sweet. But there is a hint of the sweet, like the yellow foam banana sweets you get. Bite that through there. The hazelnut sits really fucking nice in the background, just rounds it all off. Oh, it is fucking lovely, that. And the cloud out of it, well. You can see the cloud, as always, from the large range. Fucking nice and thick. Fucking man. Uh, I didn't think, don't think so, but as always, we are on the 0 0.15 coil on this. So it maxes out 80 watts, but I run at about 70 for the reviews. And fuck me, is that fucking lovely throughout. Now, what am I going to rate that? That is really quite fucking nice. I mean, that is fucking beautiful. But there again, the fruity ones from the large range usually are really nice. Still doesn't beat my favourite of the crispy coffee. But it is going to be a high ranker. It is a hard hitter. Nice fucking flavour. Like I said, those flavours, they just blend fucking magically. I'm going to give that a 9 out of fucking 10 right now. 
9 out of 10 vape bottles, there you go. The flavour out of that is just fucking lovely. I mean, you can vape that really quite happily all day. I mean, even, even fucking just in that wee tank, you know, the wee drag X pop in, pop out tanks, call what you want. You can take a really nice hat out of that, nice long draw, and you are fucking full on flavour. Anyway, let's go into the Hobgoblin Golden Beer out there, Trooper Glass. <laughs> nice smell about that, I mean, that is it's quite nice. I mean, it's not often I do it that it smells because my sense of smell is shit, but it has a really rich smell, a bit of sweetness in the background, a very subtle sweetness, but a really rich smell. And the flavour out of that, oh my fucking god, I remember why I'd done that before. Oh, the flavour is fucking magnificent out of that. That is fucking lovely. That is definitely one of my favourite ones. That's, I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10 bottles. 8.5 out of 10 drinks is really fucking nice. That, that flavour is just a rich flavour. Really, that's the only way, real way to, ex to explain it. Sorry, it'd be good if I could actually fucking talk, eh? Be doing good. Excuse me. That is really fucking nice, that. I mean, all I'm really going to say is it's really fucking rich. Not like a sweet rich, just fucking nice on the tongue, you know, nice flavour. Just lingers that nice wee bit after you swallow it. Oh, it's fucking lovely. Ah, maybe being eight and a half is being a bit harsh on it, but that is fucking lovely. Now as for the new one, because I've done the whole global one before, I'm sure. I've done a lot of large ones, <laughs> just check out the playlist if you haven't already. Fucking a lot of large e liquids on there, I really need to come away from them a wee bit, do some other ones. But we are, well, we're just coming out of lockdown, so getting e-liquids has been difficult. But hopefully we are going to get back to being able to get them a bit more easily. But, the naked grouse. Oh, on the nose it sort of smells like a normal sort of grouse whiskey. Now this is a blend, so we do have our whiskey stones in there. <laughs> fucking, fucking man. And we do have it in a proper whiskey glass. Why am I going on with this? I don't fucking know. Let's get into it. Well, a wee bit disappointing because it's sort of like a very generic sort of grouse whiskey if I'm honest. It's nice, it's nice, but not anything overly special. I wouldn't say if you had that in a normal famous grouse you're going to see the difference really. I mean, smells like famous grouse. Tastes like famous grouse. Not the best whiskey out there. But it is nice, I do like a wee grouse. So, I'll, I'll be nice, we'll give that a six and a half out of 10. I can safely say just by the flavor, that is not gonna mix with the banana haze. Yes, I had to look around and remember what it was called. <laughs> Eh, uh, give me a second, I don't know. Might mix with the, uh, what the, orange or tang. If you're wondering what my review of that was, check out in the playlist, because I'd done that last time. Let's give that a try. We'll see if the fucking orange or tang and the grouse mix, because that's not going to mix with the banana haze. Well, they actually do mix. They're not brilliant, they're not great, but they do mix. They mix quite nice, actually. So, I'm going to give that combination a 7 out of 10. Fuck it. 7 out of 10 will do that quite nicely. The orange tang actually added that wee bit. The orange out of that was really quite nice with the grips. I'll give that a choose. That was quite nice. But not something I'm going to drink loads of and bake loads of because they're more the nicest. But now for the Hobgoblin and the Banana Haze, do they mix? I think they will. 
I'm really bad, I apologise, I'm bad for looking off to the side just now, because this is a relatively new setup, so it's not as fluent as my other videos, I do apologise for that. But let's see, there's the Hope Goblin, Golden Beer, and the Banana Haze combined. Aye, right, they're going. I'm going to predict they do. Well, prove me wrong. Oh, excuse me. They're not horrible, but they do seem to neutralize each other quite a bit. You lose a lot of the flavor from both of them with them mixed together, but they are pleasant. They are going to knock it down a fair bit. Well, a wee bit, should I say, not a fair bit. Down to, oh, try to be fair here. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 for the two of them mixed because you do lose a fair bit of the flavor there. And fuck it, why not? We'll give it a try. We'll give the orange otang its crack with the uh, hobgoblin. Now, I know some of you might think that's a bit unfair because I've got in the TVF 16 great fucking tank. But we will give it a try and see how it does. Bear in mind, this is a mixed review. Flavours. That's what we're going for, is fucking flavours. Not fucking comparing the vape from fucking the TVF 16 to the Drag X. We are doing flavours here. Do they mix? Now again, they are pleasant, I'm going to give it another 7.5 out of 10 because they pretty much neutralise each other so you do get slight flavours, not as good as them on their own. But they are fucking lovely. Anyway, that's your lot for this video, it's, I'm keeping them quite short, quite sweet at the moment. Mostly because I'm still doing loads of work, still got shit tons to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this with your friends. Don't forget, everything is just on my personal opinion, my taste. So you might pick up a bottle of this and this naked grouse and think it's the best whiskey fucking ever. You might not like whiskey. Fuck it. It's just my opinion. But anyway, that's your lot for this time. Fuck off. Go and spend some time with your friends and family, socially safe at this point in time of recording and uploading. And don't forget, be smart, be safe, think killers, and peace! seen this when I was out there. Yeah, restart that. Three, two, one, Nico's a pain. <laughs>